We are just about the time, uh, the time in uh, this particular year, 2012, where we are acknowledging the 100th anniversary of a terrible disaster, the sinking of the Titanic. Uh, the Titanic was, um, at the time, uh, considered to be uh, the largest and safest uh, passenger ship in the world. It was built in Belfast, Ireland, and on its maiden voyage, uh, was to leave its home in Ireland, stop in England, and then arrive in New York just a few days later. There are great claims made about the Titanic. For one, it was uh, extremely lavish, and uh, in the uh, upper decks, the attention to detail, craftsmanship, and quality was very high. Uh, one of the greatest boasts about the ship was that it was unsinkable. And, uh, I'm sure many people felt uh, comfortable and secure in this idea uh, in their uh, journey from Europe to the United States. Uh, just a couple of days into uh, that maiden voyage, however, the Titanic struck an iceberg. Now, this, uh, the, the, the point of the strike was below the water line. Uh, the hull of the ship uh, basically rubbed up against an iceberg. It wasn't a terrible uh, uh, crash or accident, it, but the iceberg did tear a hole in the hull of a ship uh, approximately the size of a hall closet. The ship itself was the size of four city blocks, and it's amazing to think that a relatively small puncture could bring the ship down, especially because it was built with many watertight compartments, doors that automatically came down in the lower parts of the ship to prevent water from moving from one compartment to the next. Despite the fact that these doors were brought down, so much water came in through that puncture that it weighted down the front part of the ship. And in within a very short time, despite valiant efforts by uh, the, the working crew below to uh, expel the water and to um, prevent the water from uh, causing explosions in the coal furnaces and so on, uh, the ship was doomed to sink. Uh, as I mentioned, the uh, front part of the ship began to sink first, um, weighted down as it was by water, and in time this caused the ship to actually split. It took four, uh, three hours for the ship to sink, and uh, for, uh, today uh, those workmen are credited with um, expanding or lengthening the amount of time that it took for the ship to go down. They kept those coal fire, uh, coal furnaces burning, providing electricity for people to get to lifeboats, um, uh, and kept the ship uh, afloat as long as they possibly could. It's also interesting to note that um, the behavior of uh, the ship's passengers as they uh, sought safety in those lifeboats was, was very calm and collected. Um, whereas the Lusitania, uh, which went down uh, just prior to the U.S.'s entry into World War I, went down in 17 minutes, and, and men, women, and children clamored to get to those lifeboats. There was order in uh, the filling of the lifeboats and the sinking of the Titanic. It was women and children first, and there are many reports of the ship's band playing, and uh, men uh, sitting down, realizing their fate, and having a last cigar and perhaps a uh, uh, decanter of, uh, or a, a glass of brandy. Um, unfortunately, uh, many lives were lost in the sinking of the Titanic. Uh, many of them, uh, those passengers in steerage uh, in, the, in the lower parts of the ship, who in some cases were actually prevented from getting to the upper deck so that they didn't overwhelm the number of people heading toward the lifeboats uh, is uh, today uh, considered one of the uh, uh, one of the most terrible disasters um, that we have ever experienced. <laughs>